Welcome to Ocean Monitoring Use Case Demonstrator, part of Horizon 2020 Kerbera project. Here are the high-level ocean monitoring requirements that correspond to the following month 18 demonstrator goals. The ocean monitoring demonstrator focuses on the following highlighted components with the following Kerbero skeleton mapping. Ocean Monitoring Demonstrator uses the Kerbero Adaptation Loop and is an example of user-commanded, environment-triggered and context-aware adaptation. The Ocean Monitoring Demonstrator tests the following system functionalities. The main aims of the Dyna modeling were to identify the most suitable hardware platform and learn how to use the tool. This is the overall structure of the models with sensors, image processing, compression and storage components. The following platforms were tested and the results were in terms of processing load, in terms of power requirements. In conclusion, the Snapdragon architecture was selected. The following video shows real-time video enhancement process consisting of adaptive brightness, adaptive histogram equalization, contrast enhancement, and image fusion to control different enhancement levels. Let us demonstrate the adaptive camera system. The camera comprises four lenses. Because different distances between lenses are better for different purposes, 
The camera chooses different subsets of lenses for different fusion methods. We can get live data streams from lens 1, lens 2, lens 3, and lens 4. Let us demonstrate one of the super resolution techniques where two rectified images are fused together to reduce image noise. Different subset of lenses is selected for this purpose. Let's now demonstrate how the information from two rectified images can be used to calculate the depth disparity maps related to distance measurement. Different subset of lenses is selected for this fusion. So the closer the object is to the camera, the brighter, the brighter it becomes. Another functionality of our adaptive camera is its capability to enhance footage. On the left, we can see the brightness histograms of original and enhanced images. Above, we can see the mean brightness of the original and enhanced image with our new adaptive brightness technique. I will now change the lighting conditions in the room and we will see how this affects our mean brightness. I can control the lighting conditions in the room with this app let's see how different lighting conditions affect the our mean brightness As you can see, the enhanced image adapts its brightness to changing lighting conditions by compensating for the loss of light. We can also control the level of image enhancement with the sliding bar. The camera system is also capable of color-based object detection and tracking. As you can see, the object was detected at, and now is being tracked. We now demonstrate the two image rectification methods needed for various fusion techniques. First, we can rectify images using Harry's corner detector and scale invariant feature transform. After detecting key points, the image descriptors need to be matched and projective transformation calculated. First, you will see the matched areas.
And these are the rectified images for lenses 1 and 4 that will be used, for example, for calculation of depth maps. The other rectification method is the chessboard method. First, both lenses detect all the corners of the chessboard presented at different viewpoints, and then the relevant transformations are found. And these are two rectified images from lenses 2 and 3 that could be used, for example, for image denoising.